So let's assume you have a bunch of Macs in your business. They're managed by Jamf or some other MDM, and you've been told to migrate them to Intune. Here's one way to do that. I'm not saying it's the best or the only way to do it, but here's how I would do it. I'm going to assume you already have Intune set up and you've got your Apple APNS stuff set up too. If not, take a look at this video here to help with that. Okay, so first, we need to get the Macs out of the existing MDM. Now, I'm not going to help you with that. For one, I don't know which MDM you're using. Just unenroll them from ho that however you need to. We need to get the Macs unmanaged for this point. Bear in mind, this method will probably only work for Macs that are not in Apple Business Manager. I've got a different video to show how you do it for Macs that are in Apple Business Manager. Right, so they're unmanaged now. Very good. Now we need to find a way to encourage our users to enroll their Mac into our shiny new Intune platform. Let's head to the Intune portal. And from here, like I say, we've already got Intune set up, so we don't need to do anything different in this section here. When the users try to enroll their Mac, it will work. Why would they start to enroll their Mac? Maybe you send them an email saying, please enroll your Mac, please enroll your Mac. Maybe they won't read it, they won't actually do anything with that. The only way we can actually guarantee that they will enroll their Mac is if we force them to enroll their Mac. So how do we do that? That is conditional access. We'll go to the Azure AD admin center. We'll choose Azure Active Directory. Scroll down to security. From here, choose conditional access. We'll click new policy. And I'm going to give this a name. Now, this policy is specifically about making sure that Mac OS users are enrolling their device. You should have other policies in here that already require a compliant device, but I'm assuming that for some reason you haven't got any conditional access policies yet, and we're creating one for this very, very specific purpose. You should definitely review all of the conditional access requirements in the environment, but for now, let's just specifically talk about the Mac OS. So I'm going to call it require enrollment for Mac OS devices. I'm going to target all users. Notice it reminds you that this will affect all users, including you, so don't lock yourself out. In the exclusions for me, I'm going to add my admin users. So we'll scroll down to cloud apps. And I want my users to be prompted to enroll their device if they're using any cloud app. So we're going to choose all cloud apps. Again, we're asked to make sure that we understand that we could lock ourselves out at this stage. We'll scroll down to conditions. And like I mentioned, we're going to specifically talk about Mac OS devices. No other platforms are being discussed in this video, but you certainly could and should look at the other platforms that you can manage with conditional access. We'll choose device platforms. I'm going to configure this and include only Mac OS devices. They are, the, they are the only ones in scope for this policy. Choose done. And we are applying this regardless of where they are. So in any location, using any client app and not filtering for any other devices. I'm going to scroll down and choose the grant rule. And in the grant rule, we're going to grant access only if the device is marked as compliant. Now it might be tempting to click require multi-factor authentication as well for that extra bit of security, but what that would actually do is force your users to have multi-factor authentication at every single login, which is not a good idea. Now you might be thinking, well, if I choose require multi-factor authentication and then scroll to the bottom and choose require one of the selected controls, that will mean that the user isn't required to use multi-factor authentication if their device is compliant. Correct. But it will also mean that in order to get through to their office portal, for example, they could use either multi-factor authentication or a compliant device, which would not force them to enroll their device, which is the thing I'm trying to do here. So I'm going to untick require multi-factor authentication and choose select and choose on. Now, whilst I've chosen on because I want to enforce this policy right now, you could choose report only and take a look at the report when users sign in. For me, I'm certain I want to do this. I've excluded my admin user, and this is a test environment for me. So in your environment, it's a good idea to choose a subset of your users to apply this to and maybe not go for all users straight off the bat. 
So I'm going to create this policy. Give that a few seconds. And now in order to sign into this environment, if I'm using a Mac OS device, I must have an enrolled and compliant Mac device. So over to my non-compliant, non-enrolled Mac device. Now, as I mentioned, this Mac is not managed, but it's ready for someone to log into their office email. So we'll go to Safari, type portal.office.com. We'll choose sign in. And Erin will sign in. And now, as you can see, as soon as she signs in, it says set up your device to get access. First Coffee requires you to secure this device before you access First Coffee emails, files, and data. So, tick more details. And you can see here's the troubleshooting information. We can see that the device platform is macOS, the device state is unregistered, and we need to enroll it. So, we're going to choose continue. And now the user is driven through an enrollment flow which will force them to enroll their device. It says to enroll your device and access company resources, install the Intune Company Portal app. We can go to this handy URL or we can choose get the app. It's offering to download it, we'll choose allow. The users provided the installer, just in case of choosing continue. Running through this installation flow. And choosing close. We'll move that to the bin now that it's all finished. So the user knows that they've had to install the company portal app. So they're just going to go and find the company portal app here. Just call company portal. Choose sign in. Erin simply has to log in here. It says set up first coffee access. Set up your device to access email. Choose begin. Take a look at what we can and can't see as administrators and choose continue. And it will register the Mac. We need to install the management profile. So simply a case of choosing download profile. At the top, you can see it says profile installation. Review the profile and system preferences if you want to install it. Just behind this window here. We have a management profile. Choose install. Tap install again. Just authenticate. Head back to the company portal, give this a few seconds, and it's all done. We'll choose done. Close out of the company portal, close this extra window that popped up, and we're going to just head back to portal.office.com to get access to our email. We'll choose sign in. The website explains that it needs a device certificate, which is available, so we just choose continue. And it, asks me, and it asks Erin if she wants to stay signed in. We'll choose yes. And we have access to the environment and we are also an, on an enrolled device. Now this might not be the most seamless way to get your users to enroll their devices, but if you need to migrate users on personal Mac devices from an existing MDM to Intune, this definitely works. See you next time.